Right. I played this game for about two months in the 90s and still have extreme nostalgia for it. Recently looked at prices. Boxes are really cheap. So I thought, I want to open some. And I've never made a video before, so this is going to be a train wreck. But hey, there's none of these on YouTube, so I wanted to look some up, and I couldn't find them. Should have bought a tripod. Hate comments right now. All right. Marauder. Emergency conversion. Search for Rebels, Self-Healing Stem Bolts, Klingon Empire Outpost. So you would start with an outpost. There's two versions of the game, 1E and 2E. In 1E, you would start with an outpost, and that would determine what faction you played. There were all the usual factions you can think of if you know Star Trek. Klingon, Romulan, Ferengi, Federation, Cardassian, Bajoran, Borg, a couple others I'm forgetting. Uh, you could play multiple factions with certain... Ooh, Ezri! Nice! Had a huge crush on her. So you would have, you would start with a um, outpost, and that would determine what faction you would get to play. You could play more with different cards, but that's generally what you played. I only played for, is that going to happen every time I open a pack because I don't have a tripod? I only played for two months, so I didn't know the game very well. I was into Star Wars. CCG and Magic. This game lasted way longer than Star Wars, though. Went from 95 to 2007, I believe. Rebel Interceptor. So you would play these ships and put personnel on them, and then you would do missions. These were missions. That always drove me crazy. I feel like they should have been, been called systems. But I get why they were called missions. And your opponent would put dilemma cards on them at the beginning of the day, game. And then you'd have to uh, meet those requirements. And once you, once you surpassed all the dilemmas, completed all the dilemmas, you would get the points listed here. That's trippy. Um... And the first one do 100 points, I believe it was. There were different, I feel like there were different numbers for certain th conditions. Like, I think you needed, you could get points with various cards that weren't on missions, but you needed more, I think. I'm trying to get playing again, but I've been playing, I've uh, been opening 2E instead of 1E. Anyways, Rebel Interceptor, Goris. Blood screening. Royal Casino slot. See, there's a card that gives points by itself. There's a treaty that would allow you to play Federation and Dominion. And that is a weird treaty. So that would allow you to, um, well, just as it says, your Federation and Dominion. Affiliations recognize this treaty. They can mix and cooperate. Artillery attack. That's the rare. Usually the rare dilemmas were much better. So killing personnel on dilemmas was very valuable. Uh, let's see if I can get... The ships had staffing requirements. This is a officer require. This is, I think, that's like a lower end officer. 
he doesn't look like an officer, so I'm not sure. There's a big star and there's a small star. These type of ships, the smaller ones, didn't have heavy requirements, but the bigger ones, like the Enterprise, would require like two big stars, two small stars. And if you didn't meet those requirements, you couldn't move the ship from system to system or mission to mission, and you couldn't attempt those uh, missions and the dilemmas. To attempt the mission at all and even face your opponent's dilemmas, you would also need to, I believe that's how it worked, you would need geology plus greed plus treachery times three or law to attempt the dilemma. That could be wrong though, that could just be, I do, you needed those to get the points. Maybe you're allowed to attempt the dilemmas even without, without these, but you definitely needed these to at the end of the day to get the points. So you would plan out, you'd put the right systems in your deck that matched what characters you had. So if you had a bunch of Romulan personnel with treachery and biology, you would put missions slash planets in your deck that required, required those two. And then your opponent would see dilemmas that messed with treachery and biology because they would see that's what your systems are. And if they had the dilemmas in their deck, they would choose to put those accordingly under the missions. Devano. Please, computer skill, transporter skill, biology. This right here meant that you could play multiple copies on the table at once. Um, which always was weird to me because in Star Wars, if something is a unique named character, it's one. But they sort of do it in Star Trek where this, his name, is he's a unique guy, he's a unique guy but it says right here, typical Sentry Romul Romulan medical staff. So he's basically representative of a Romulan medical staff, even though he's named. Ensign Gaffney, Distraction, Battle Royal Casino Slots, Alliance Interceptor, I always liked Bajoran, Dr. Farallon, so this right here means she can search your deck for the card named Exocomp. Stopped meant basically they couldn't do anything for the rest of the turn. So if you have a ship full of the OG gang and they're stopped. That's it for the turn. Next turn, they can start doing missions again. Mirror Dagger. Emblem of the Alliance. Crossover. Oh, that smell will never, never not be the best thing in the whole world. Classic Disruptor. No way out. So seeds on the table basically means you start with it at the beginning of the game. I'm reading these as I'm recording it because I've never opened this set. It's a mirror mirror, so it's like alternate universe type stuff. Tarek Nor. Ops, mirror universe.
Gorn encounter. That guy is legend. Oh, why? I don't think